What's going on guys, it's your boy the Real AST here, and I have spruced up the place a bit, and I'm bringing you back for another Minecraft Survival Guide episode. This is episode 2, Fields, Farms, and Fishing, and we're going to step out of here real quick. And we've got some sugar cane right here. Sugar cane grows wild, you can find it and plant it uh, anywhere next to water. I always cut off the top two stalks. Uh, the top two blocks of the stalks and leave the rest. You can actually take that sugar cane though that you harvest and you can take it over next to water and just plant it down and it will grow again three high just like it, the original did. Uh, that's pretty much how you that's how you harvest sugar cane. Uh, you're gonna crush sugar cane to make uh, paper and sugar uh, you need sugar for baking goods, baking cakes and such. Over here, speaking of baking goods, we've got uh, the wheat field. Uh, the wheat field, same thing. You can use wheat to make different items in your uh, food items. What I do is I take out the first one and I hold the left trigger down. This is going to plant the seed. So if I hold that left trigger, every time I hit the right trigger, it plants the seed instantly. So then I can just flow through my garden harvest all my wheat and I've got two rows three by twenty so I end up with hundred and twenty pieces of wheat when I'm done harvesting I generally take it over the toolbox as soon as I'm done and I'll make my bread uh, right there on the spot I generally use about half my wheat that I get to make bread and then I'll take if I have a lot of bread on me uh, more than thirty or forty pieces I'll put half of it or I'll put some of it into the chest this way, anybody that comes in, if they want to start out on their own and take off, I'll generally tell them to go get some food and go get some seeds. Uh, something else I'll generally give them, I'll give them fishing poles, um, just because fishing is so easy. You come over here, take your fishing pole out, cast it out in the creeper pond, and you just wait for a bite. You get a bite, hit the left trigger, it reels the fish in. Um, if you're getting skunked, hey. Just do what I do. Go to your backup. Find your creeper, get you some TNT, throw your TNT into the water, and then just jump in and collect all the fish. Kidding, I'm kidding, that doesn't work. I just do all these fish in here before I started the vid. <laughs> TNT does not work for catching fish. But the fishing pole does, and it is a good tool. It's easy, it's two spider webs and three pieces of wood. And, I mean, you can catch fish anywhere. Anywhere where there's water, you can catch a fish. Uh, it's just patience. Just like in real life, it's all about the patience. Uh, Bobber went under and I missed it. Damn him. But it's all about timing. Uh, you get the timing down. Uh, you get the patience down. I mean, you can catch fish. Hell, I've got, you can do it right here, three blocks of water. Where is it at? Let me see. There you go. Three blocks of water. As soon as the bobber drops, boom, you catch a fish. Ah, I missed him again. But there are fish in there. There's fish all the way down to one block of water. You'll find fish. Oh, let's go in here. I got seeds. Chickens love seeds. Every other animal follows you for wheat. Chickens will follow you for seeds. And when you want to breed your chickens, you just hit that left trigger. Give them a little bit of seed. And they will make love to each other. There you go. Tricky little chicken. There you go. And when I'm done, I should have three little fat-headed chicks running around. There's one, there's two, there's three. And I'm going to sneak out the back door because they like to watch that front door. When I open it up, they like to dart out. Now, like I said, every other animal that we have, we have pinned up. We have cows, or we have pigs, and we have sheep. The sheep is over here. The pigs are over here. I put them in recess pins because anyone who has played the 360 version of Minecraft knows there is a clipping uh, that goes on with the fences anytime you build uh, pins above ground. And the animals will actually commit suicide, jumping up and down against the fence. They'll clip into it, you'll hear their bones breaking. That's the pigs dying, or the animals dying. Let me go ahead and match this pair up right quick. So we can get another little baby pork chop. There he is. Did he just fart or did he snort? Yeah, either way. 
Uh, but I didn't. I was tired of my animals dying. Uh, I thought it was a despawning issue. It was actually a dying issue. So I just put them in recess pens. And I put in these handy dandy little water elevators to catch my animals. Let me see if I can show you with this pig how it works. Um, come here, pig. What's up, buddy? See, anytime they get near that one of those blocks, they start to jump up and down. Let's see. Okay, he's going to follow me. Good stuff. So I'm going to go right here and jump across and turn and look. And when he comes in, I'm going to switch to something else. So he'll actually fall right. Oh, no. Get. Uh, let me see. There he goes. And he fell down. He's trapped inside there now. And what I do is I keep four to six in there. Once I get more than that, I'll just slaughter what's left over. Uh, with my sheep. Sheep are funny because when you breed sheep, once you, shear, once you shear a sheep and you breed them, the baby comes out fleeced. So you can instantly shear the new baby and get wool. And then you can slaughter the new baby and come back later and do it all over again. That way you keep your sheep, sheep population down, but you still get your wool. Um, somebody needs some love. There it is. There's another baby sheep. And as you can see from my, my food totals, um, I'm doing fairly well with the farm. I've only been playing this about three days, four days. Um, total Minecraft days, maybe five. I'll give it maybe five. I've just been, I've been doing a lot as far as uh, my farming and slaughtering animals. I mean, I spent like probably one whole day slaughtering animals. Spent another... Another day building, building everything. We go down in here. So something I did was, I actually put in guest racks for anybody who comes to my seed to hang out or help out with something, do a project with me. And I put little welcome chests. So everybody's got a welcome chest that has the same items in it. Um, it's got a flower just because I'm a sweet guy. No, but uh, it's got iron tools, the basic iron tools. It's got a stone hoe, uh, pair of shears, an extra map. Um, how many times you lose your map. You got an extra one in my world. Uh, it's got a, a day-night clock. I give them a couple torches, a boat, fishing pole, a bow and arrow, uh, a bucket, some seeds, a uh, Build-A-Bear workshop, an oven. Uh, you see, I give them everything they need to get started. They can actually come in here, just pick up that chest and take off, and they, they should be able to do everything, you know, on their own from there. I mean, that's enough to get started. Put a little shack down and wherever you want to go on the map. So I haven't got a chance to actually investigate everything on the map. I have looked around the map. There are a couple cool places we're going to go. Uh, probably on the next episode, it's going to be caves, caverns, and more, um, something like that. We're going to do a little bit of cave exploring, and we're going to check out a few places. I'm going to show you my tips and tricks for getting around caves uh, without getting lost. It's Plenty of cool stuff to find. I think we might even maybe look for a maybe we'll look for a mine or a stronghold. Maybe find a couple mob spawners. And then hey, we can do an episode on mob spawners and XP spawners. It's gonna be great. You guys are gonna love it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, you got some tips and tricks you want to leave me, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you want more, just come back. I'll I'll give you a daily dose whenever I get a chance. It's generally right now, I think I'm going to drop this episode every two or three days. Uh, maybe when we start getting into the advanced stuff, uh, it might spread out a little bit longer as I put together some good quality, uh, quality episodes for you. But when it comes down to it, um, I imagine this is going to turn from a strategy guide into a let's play. And maybe we'll get you guys in here and you guys can uh, help me build some things or, you know, build some stuff on your own and explore. I'm going to sit back here now and catch a few fish before it gets dark, and then I'm going to go hunt some monsters. So, I'll see you next time. It's been real. Peace.